Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro audiobook about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Izzy Ramirez, who you'll find on Medium.com. And here is a definitive ranking of all my lids. I can't be the only one with a billion lids, right? I don't know how it happened. I don't have a predilection for pot lids or Pyrex lids or Tupperware lids. But somehow I have accrued dozens of them over the past four years. I suppose one day I became an adult, and then the lids magically appeared in my cupboard, destined to be shoved to the back where they'll never be seen again. Of course, that's not the future I want for them, but that's the life they have. Typically, I don't think too much about my lids. In my head, they exist to clutter. That's it. But a few days ago, I was FaceTiming my friend Carolyn when I made the apparently controversial statement that most pot lids are unnecessary. She asked how I kept my food warm for guests, to which I replied, I serve immediately after cooking. Maybe that's just me. Anyhow, I'm of the belief that you really only need like two or three pot lids and whatever lids go with your Tupperware. Sue me. Without further ado, here are my lids and all their glory and shame. If the home edit ladies are reading this, no, you didn't. 8. Random baking pan lids hidden above the stove. These are perfectly fine lids, arguably very useful. I just always forget they exist because they're located in a spot that I cannot reach. I just end up using foil to cover my Pyrex baking pans or transferring leftovers to a Tupperware for storage. 7. This Whole Foods Bag of Glass Lids When I moved in March, I bubble-wrapped about five of my glass lids that match the Cuisinart pots and pans set my mom gifted me the year before. I love them dearly, but they're very fragile. I moved again in May and unpacked only one of them so far. It's October. Now these live under my country sink, where they haunt me forever. Sometimes I think about unwrapping them, but then I remember that I literally have no space, and also that I probably wouldn't use them anyway. It's best that they stay where they are, safe and forgotten. 6. These Takeout Container Lids What's better than saving the environment and your money? I love keeping my takeout containers. They're great for storing salsa and whipping up a batch of quick pickled onions in. The only downside is that they're very flimsy. But that's okay because I have like 20 of them. 5. Amazon Meal Prep Container Lids I don't really buy from Amazon, but a purchase I am satisfied with are these meal prep containers. They're great for giving leftovers to a friend and or actually trying to meal prep. The lids come in fun colors, too. How cute! 4. My beloved Rubbermaid Tupperware Lids Usually these are a bit more organized, but cut me some slack. I'm in graduate school. I love this set with all my heart because they never stain. I regularly cook very pigmented foods and never leak. Points off for having an annoying gap where food can get stuck while washing by hand. 3. Salad Spinner Lid Okay, I know this technically doesn't count, but let me tell you why it does. Sometimes I'll make a salad, but I'll be too lazy to put it in a salad bowl or store it in a Tupperware. Sometimes the salad spinner becomes its own Tupperware. I'm smart like that. Also, come on, it has buttons. 2. The lid I use for 95% of my cooking. This is the only glass lid that I unpacked from that Whole Foods bag. 
And you know what? It's the only one that will remain unpacked. Again, I don't really use lids all that much in my cooking, other than for braising or reducing. But if I'm doing that, I'm using one. My Le Creuset. Yes, this was a quarantine purchase back in March. Yes, it was worth every penny. Yes, it's as good as everyone says it is. I can talk about the lid alone for at least an hour. Look at that craftsmanship, the heft, the beauty. Naturally, the Le Crusades coming in at number one. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris KK Aria on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook. Or check out my website, www.chriskepler.com.